this is just a problem. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. You know what? I have come over here for three reasons, okay? And what are those three reasons or three secrets that tell you about that three reasons you may lose any, any, any people in life. So three things I'm talking over here today is uh, you may lose anyone, any person in business when it comes to business. Listen till the end because my research of today is going to talk about that have you ever lost any person when it comes to dealing with them you are communicating with them and the person wants to be with you he is interested in you but he is somehow uh, you, you fi you're finding he's not really getting closer to you you want him to be the part of you but this person is not going to come to you he is not interacting with you he's somewhere you know keeping him away from you but somewhere you both wants to connect with each other and now such kind of situation may happen in a business as well so here i'm going to share three things through my own personal story which may let you lose a customer okay and that customer may go on other door so uh, these things are i'm going to tell you very very uh, for sure uh, listen till the end what used to happen during my childhood my dad used to send me to a specific premium grocery store and i always did not want to go over there the guy used to look like very charming personality okay and um, he used to do three things which i won't recommend any business owner to do that in fact losing people by doing this may be really harmful and when i'm talking about losing people what kind of people one can lose connection customers leads followers anyone anyone so i'm not sure whether i do it or not but this is my today's insight from my childhood which i'm sharing with you these are worth knowing it and worth implementing it and worth introspecting it so by the way uh, you would find some changes in today's life because i am trying to implement those uh, you know learning and share with you all so the very first one is that the moment I used to go at his store and ask for some stuff to buy, he used to stare at me like this. Okay, he used to stare at me and, and I used to feel really, you know, uh, awkward that why this guy is staring. He's the simple business owner, a simple shopkeeper and he's running his own business. His job is to give me the stuff and groceries, what I am seeking for, what I am looking for and get busy in his own business. Why he is trying to introspect and trying to stare at me. So never ever do this thing when you are dealing with a person uh virtually or in reality okay so never start staring a person that person can turn anything you are doing three things with him first you are staring to the person and making them uncomfortable okay so second thing you should make sure that because of you the person is not feeling un uncomfortable even the person is a visitor for first time and you are making him uncomfortable so it is really not justifiable so in return what you should do that's okay staring at him may uh, give you chance to lose that person and uh, second thing is that uh, what may happen making him un uncomfortable uh, cannot be your repeat customer and can loss of your repeat order that's the second thing this person may appear and won't recommend you so that was the second thing first not staring at him okay through any way not stalking through any way a uh, second not to make the person uncomfortable uh, and uh, uh, so what you can do in return i'm going to talk about that third thing which i wanted to share that always you know 
animate 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 is the key you just now saw that i'm trying to animate myself okay so do two three things first you should not stare to the person you should animate you should not go very boring right so uh, in return what used to happen i always used to go to the person uh, my dad used to direct me hey uh, gotta go at this grocery store bring such items and i always been scared of it and in fact i used to ask some of my people to not to go to those businesses instead choose some el someone else's business and i always preferred wherever i felt comfortable wherever the person while serving is animating i used to go over there because i felt entertained so remember if every one of your connection needs what they need entertainment okay so you never know they are not coming to you for entertainment but what is bad in that if they are feeling entertained okay so follow this uh make them feel entertained uh, appreciate them make them comfortable uh, and three things which is uh, non doable things so you should not do that is stare at them make them uncomfortable and not doing any animation so continue to animate you can express in different manner appreciate that person okay animation appreciation giving them attention okay attention is not equal to staring at them so th three a's i have shared appreciation attention and animation that's what your customer are looking today and not only customer everyone today are looking because you know you can't go to someone uh, who may sound a complete dead uh, no one wants to go over there you, no one wants to feel sad and right no one wants to feel disappointed in fact everyone wants to feel uplifted are you carrying such intent even for your prospect for your customer for your follower or for all the connections and even for the leads what you call okay so if you uh, if you follow such things and uh, you won't find these things anywhere written in the books where you will find these are coming through my own insight through my own childhood stories i had some list of uh, other businesses where uh, the person used to make you feel comfortable they make you feel appreciated and uh, make you uh, feel animated means they used to animate themselves to make you feel more happy so these three things everyone is looking so you can introspect back and think about that am i animating okay so are you uh, giving some animation means you, your facial expression can be animation right so and that may that may um, let the other person know that he feels what you feel so this is the transaction of feeling not the transaction of money i would say so if someone is feeling something about you they are ready to work with you okay and that's the reason feel the person who is coming um, make them feel uh, Uh, warm and thereby continue to serve so make them feel serve make them feel warm and continue to give attention continue to give appreciation thereby inquire exactly what they are looking for if you can go some extra mile and decode what exactly they are looking for further you can go recommend something what do you think are premium quality and you can add some value along with that these are some premium premium thoughts uh, and food for thoughts in the business in the business abundance i think if any one thing is going to add value uh, i feel that i have added some uh, something in your business scale up pro uh, program why i am talking to you this this is the third day of day 5 i thought i would come live not why did i think so i thought just because of my mentor mac atram said hey goro go ahead bring out all those learning from your uh, you know entire life and share with public uh, you yourself business abundance coach people need it so three things i'm going to now uh, uh, end this uh, entire uh, conversation today uh, don't stare uh, continue to animate and third uh, may never make anyone feel uncomfortable and continue to appreciate so these are the three things three takeaways uh, in if you include in your business and in your conversation you are going to win i'm still working on this i'm not very good animator i am not very good uh, you know uh, good in appreciating people i am not very good you know um 
make someone laugh or make someone happy or make someone comfortable i am still learning i don't know how long i will continue to learn this but i think these are the learnable skill if you could learn few people are very easy going in uh, expressing these all things and they will make uh, you feel like you are their buddy or something and you will find go a go getter yourself and uh, you will find that you are easily able to um, fall in love with them and uh, do business with them because you just like their personality so such kind of people are there what do they do they animate appreciate and make you comfortable simple thing okay are we doing this in our business these are few tips i think that has added value if you want to learn something more about it tomorrow at um, uh, 4:30 pm ist in the evening i am doing a 90 minutes of master class that is about business abundance secret and there i go in more more details if you think that you want to join that send me a message and i'll tell you the way how you can be the part of it and again free of cost i am believing that these days if i am going free uh, let me load myself uh, anything for you if you have listened talk to someone who you think that uh, they are information seeker they love to uh, they are seeking value they want to start their business they want to even they are employee so this won't be for employee but definitely they can uh, if they have mindset to serve to their client the the end user uh, or or uh, for product or services they are working and they anywhere where client interaction is there for that they can hop in and they can go back with the business abundance mindset that's the key for that i have come and i have been talking i hope you loved it and i thought continue to implement implement it you were listening to kumar gaurav business abundance coach this was day 3 live of 5 and inspired by mac atram dedicated to him thank you so much mac